would like to take this opportunity to present a product for presbyopia correction. We're talking about a product that was launched at the end of last year and has uh, the following features. Presbyopia poses a number of challenges, the first one being discomfort. Thanks uh, to uh, our innovative material, we can meet this need. Another challenge uh, is the dryness, the uh, feeling of dryness. Our solution is the result of the technology mentioned by Giorgio Righetti. Thanks to the aqueous gradient, uh, um, it is a technical uh, property of the material. We can meet the need expressed uh, by the presbyope, and then vision. So thanks uh, to the design, uh, the precision profile design, which has been uh, on the market for a few years uh, and appreciated by many, we can meet uh, the vision requirements of presbyopes. What's the aqueous gradient? The length is made by a number of layers. And the, the center of uh, the lens is silicon hydrogel with uh, a decay over T um, indicated here. And it's the highest of the, um, among the lenses available on the market. Uh, so as we move uh, to the periphery, the material changes the silicon core, then uh, gives way to an anchorage anchorage zone where silicon molecules are replaced by hydrogel. And then the next mm, passage leads to the total transformation of the material, which becomes uh, hydrogel with 80% water content. But that's not all. On the external surface, uh, water content is almost 100%. This is the uh, this is the description of the lens with uh, all the layers. Uh, the uh, silicon nucleus accounts for 96% of the lens. So as a matter of fact, uh, the lens is made of silicon with a decay over T of 156. So the transformation uh, happens at the periphery only. And then the lubricity. Uh, the the fact that two uh, surfaces can slide over one another, that's very important because uh, studies have shown that uh, discomfort uh, is partly due uh, to this uh, the, the, the lid sliding over the lens. When blinking, if uh, the lid can s uh, slide smoothly over the lens, uh, discomfort will not be present. If there's a bit of friction, uh, the lens is perceived. And in the long run, this uh, sensation can become discomfort. What's the main feature of Total One? As I uh, said, the material changes. Uh, uh, the material uh, becomes uh, un unaltered uh, throughout the wear period. Uh, this is confirmed by the data. Lubricity uh, remains uh, un unchanged uh, t till um, 16 hours of wear. So I'll. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll feel comfortable till the end of the day. Let me briefly switch to the presbyopes and their features. We know that the lacrimal uh, conditions change, tears change in quantity and structure, and that applies to presbyopes particularly because wearing contact lenses may cause discomfort uh, and uh, eye dryness. 
rupture time, rup uh, tear film rupture time is much uh, slower, is much, uh, uh, yes, uh, slower. The answer to this uh, problem is the smart tears. Uh, I don't know, you may not know about it. Uh, uh, there's a science called, called biomimesis, uh, dealing with uh, the, the development of new solutions uh, based uh, on the nature. The lens, in, in fact, uh, is designed uh, as a healthy cornea. We have a silicon core. We know that the cornea is not very hydrophilic. The microvilli can be compared to the transition zone. And the aqueous component of the tear is equivalent to the 80% uh, hydrogel in the lens. But in, in a healthy eye model, we have an upper part uh, which is made up by lipids. Uh, so the lens is preloaded with uh, uh, phosphatidylcholine, a phospholipid uh, that ha has uh, one function that is uh, um, providing, um, rebalancing a lipid deficiency. So. This uh, um, l the lens can release phos this phospholipid uh, into the eye. The precision profile design has been on the market for some time, so um, proven efficacy. It is a center near design, uh, which is, uh, has uh, um, a close synergy with the pupillary function. This gradual transition from the center to the periphery devoted to far vision, to distance vision, makes it possible to um, predict application outcome so we can reduce our chair time. I brought a video summarizing my presentation. La presbiopia. Presbyopia, can we accept compromises? Uh, presbyops uh, would like to um, have a reduction in the feeling of dryness, more comfort, and optical vision at all distances. Uh, this is quite challenging. Uh, that's, uh, the time has come for a change. For a change. Uh, you can see um, the dailies total multifocal contact lenses, uh, they have an aqueous gradient uh, for presbyopic uh, wearers uh, to meet their specific needs, uh, designed for constant vision and high comfort. Thanks to its innovative technology, the new multifocal dailies total one lens presbyopia is no longer going to be the same. They are the only lenses with the aqueous gradient and water content going from 33% in the core to over 80% in the periphery in order to reduce friction with the eye tissues, reducing uh, dry eye dryness at the end of the day. The ultra smooth surface gel behave similarly to the corneal epithelial cell and contribute to increasing comfort. But that's not all. Daily's total one multifocal contract lenses um, belong to the Alcon range of products, and they're based on the pre pre precision profile design. So we have gra gradual progression of power and adaptation to different pupil sizes. So in order to have uh, the, the best vision at all distances, near, intermediate, and distance, a combination of the aqueous gradients and the pre precision pr the profile can me be very helpful for these patients. These these contact lenses are, have been designed to meet the needs of your wearers and your business. 
the same application protocol for all multifocal uh, contact lenses uh, made by Alcon, ninety-six percent success rate in fitting multifocal lenses by Alcon. Daily's total one, the first uh, multifocal contact lenses was in an equus gradient for presbyopia. Application guidelines. The design has been on the market for a few years. We've learned a few lessons from experience that we have put into practice. So we developed an updated application protocol. In the video, we heard that the success rate of contact lens fitting is 96%. It can be obtained by following a uh, fitting manual. All manufacturers have their, go their own fitting guidelines. Each company has a slightly different design, so we need to look at different uh, uh, fitting protocols uh, and try and follow them carefully. The fitting uh, manual applies to all Alcon progressive multifocal lenses, the total one multifocal, the daily total one, Optus multifocal, and so on and so forth. Um, as mentioned by Giorgio Righetti, uh, we believe in innovation a lot. Uh, it is in our DNA at Alcon as shown by our continuous innovation. We've, we've developed uh, tutorial videos, or video tutorials that can be seen online. If you log in to a website, this is our way to help you in, our daily, in your daily lives. Thank you very much.